today on Running to Him. We must be strong and courageous in our walk with Christ. Today we will read Joshua chapter 1 through 5 and concentrate on Joshua chapter 1 verses 6 through 9. Joshua 1 6 through 9 says, Be strong and courageous, for you shall give this people possession of the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous. Be careful to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded you to do, and do not turn from it to the right or to the left, so that you may have success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not tremble or be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So let's look at God's commands to Joshua to be strong and courageous. In verses 6, 7, 9, and 18, Joshua is told to be strong and courageous. The first time God tells him that, the people will possess the land based on the promises God previously gave. The second time, found in verse 7, God tells him to be courageous in studying and keeping the scriptures in God's command. Verse 9 reminds Joshua not to tremble or become dismayed. These two words carry the idea of being terrified or depressed about a situation Joshua may find himself in. And while not in our reading, verse 18 reminds Joshua to be a strong leader and not to be fearful of punishing people who rebel against him. God has given us promises. Christ, in Matthew 28, verses 19 and 20, said he would always be with us and to not be afraid. Like Joshua, we should rely on God to keep his promises. God doesn't fail. Think of the times he brought us through sickness and stress, stumbling and struggles. As we place our faith in him, he takes us through the bad times, always helping, always reaching out to hold us. It takes courage to stand up to those things in our lives that would take precedence over studying the scriptures and placing their truth into our lives. There are those today who would have us deny the scriptures and traditions of the church to accept sinful behavior and even declare that those sinful thoughts and actions are gifts from God. Yet, we must stand firm and battle those ideas. We must be strong in battle. Sometimes in our lives, Satan will bring us his minions against us. Our world today might be such a time. More and more people are siding with sin and actively seeking to destroy, mute, or influence even us. I read a story about some people who are Catholic suing a printing company, also run by a Catholic couple, because they would not print flyers advertising a pro-choice event. The printers finally prevailed in the lawsuit, but it was at the cost of thousands of dollars in lost business. We must be prepared for such battles. And finally, we must exercise church discipline against those who actively sin against God. We cannot be afraid because we might lose some members. If they are rebelling against God in their actions, they must be called out in love, looking to restore them. The church is a hospital for those who are spiritually ill. But if the patient refuses to take the medication, they should be discharged, just as a hospital would. We must be strong and courageous in our walk with Christ. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.